So today I wanted to go over the SH Figure Arts Chainsaw Man because I just got mine in today and I'm already in love with this figure. There isn't a lot in terms of accessories, so I'll quickly go over how to change everything out. First off, I'll show the two different hands that you get. You get this set of relaxed hands. You get one for each side, of course, and you get a set of fists. They look pretty nice. I think SH Figures is also the only company to have interchangeable hands like this. All you have to do is wiggle the top half off. See your little peg here? You can kind of push that with your thumb or just peel it off from the back. I'm just going to do like that. Put those two pieces together. I'm going to switch it out with the relaxed hand for now. Slide that in through that part right there and pop that on the top. Be very careful when you do this kind of thing as well, because this chainsaw will prick you. It is very, very sharp. So be careful to not hurt yourself as well as not to break a spike off of here. Then there is the jaw. That's just as easy as wiggling it off and popping the new one on. It can be a little difficult. It has a little tongue in there. The tongue is on a little ball joint, so you can move it back and forth or even pop it out. I kind of like this look. I, I like, there's a lot of scenes in the in the manga at least where he, he doesn't have his tongue out. So I like that a lot. I like that look. But I am also just going to stick with the neutral look for now. Tie is super easy. Just pegs in with a little square peg and you can peg in the new one. It's a little flowy tie. Flowy tie looks really nice. Uh, it's a nice soft rubbery piece like the regular tie is that soft material should help it from like popping out when you're bending the torso also a lot of the torso like this is a nice soft rubbery piece hips is a nice soft rubbery piece so we'll go ahead and since that's it for accessories i'll go ahead and quickly go over articulation as well actually i want to talk about height first that'll be fun that'll be better and quicker it is about five and five eighths inches tall. So it's it's pretty short for an SH figure arts or for a figure in general, honestly. They're about the same height actually. So it's not you know particularly taller or shorter than any recent SH figure arts release. Besides taller characters, of course, like Piccolo, which I have him tier too. So I might as well just say, yeah. See, Chainsaw Man doesn't come up to butt his, like the, the top of his neck. So, he's he's a little short. Um, but I like him a lot. Let's also talk about the look real quick while I'm thinking of it. This, the head part right here, and at the jaw as well, is super nice, glossy plastic. And the rest, or the most of the rest of it, is this really nice matte finish. There's tiny bits of shading here and there, which don't come up super well on camera, but when you're comparing, when you have it in hand, and you're comparing, say, this part of the leg to the knee joint, you can see it a lot better. The knee joint is a little bit more of a shiny plastic. Um, there's a little bit of shading on the arms here, along with that blood paint work, which looks really, really nice. I like that. The chainsaws are these, this really, really shiny, reflective metal coloring, which looks really, really good. Um, but like the clothing and everything is super matte. The biggest thing is the shoes are kind of glossy, which I don't know how I feel about that. They're also a nice, soft, rubbery material, especially here at the, like the tongue of the shoe and the, the, that part of the shoe. I don't know my shoes very well. I apologize. Um, Another thing I want to mention real quick, because I've seen stuff like this before, anytime you have the, tube, the toe bent, it is a flat surface because they rounded this edge of it here. I'm sorry, my camera keeps going out of focus. Um, so every time you have the toe bent, it will be a flat surface for you to use, which is perfectly done. There is even a little toe design here, though it gets broken up super hard when you bend the foot, of course. So with all that taken into mind, it is a beautiful looking figure. 
but then there is the posing of it all. So head is on, the top of the head is on a dumbbell joint and the base of the neck seems to be on another ball joint as well, meaning you can get a good amount of up. It, it's not straight up, but it looks pretty good. You can get some down and this reveals my biggest issue with this figure. And I was scared about this ever since I saw the promos, ever since I saw other people talk about it. The jaws will come off really easily. So yeah, be very careful about that when you are articulating the figure, but you can get some really nice side to side tilt, not a lot of down. I don't, I don't know if this is enough down, but I don't know how to fix it right now. And that keeps happening. So yeah, uh, head, head articulation is pretty good. So when it comes to the shoulders, they're on a really, really strange joint. It seems to be a dumbbell that connects from here to here. And then this, this part here is on some kind of hinge. So that gives it really nice up, but it also allows for insane forward, which is beautiful for this figure. And it looks perfect. The arm is just on a peg ball joint system. So it gets all the way around here, but it doesn't get a lot of out without using that, that shoulder joint. Most of your articulation up here is gonna be in that shoulder joint. There is single jointed arms, which are much like a Revel Tech figure. So you get more than 90 on these because of this like indent here and a little bit of indent here. But this is also where your swivel comes in is both of these pegs here and here have, give you that swivel that you need. So you can swivel the arm like that. There is nothing at the hand, of course, because it's just a peg into that chainsaw. At the torso, you have a dumbbell from here to here-ish, and that gives you about that far forward. And then there's just a hinge forward. I actually popped these ball joints off. I popped one of the ball joints off, and I looked in here, pulled this little rubbery insert off, and so it's just a hinge in there, which paired with the upper body joint gives you about that much down, which is actually a lot better than I was looking at earlier. But when you have this in position, this rubber piece is, gets a little bit blocked. So you get a little less kick than you would normally, I think, yeah. So the rubber piece starts to push down on the leg. And I say that just because when you have it positioned normally, this is your kick up. Because this entire hip piece is rubber. So your kick up is ridiculous when in standing positions. But when it's bent forward all the way, it gets limited just a bit, which isn't a huge, huge deal. Um, that's your back as well. Your back is insane for a figure like this. Uh, and it's because they don't have a stupid butt flap. The, the upper leg is sculpted kind of to be that butt. And it is forward and back, of course. Out is pretty good. Um, almost full splits, not entirely full splits, but that... That is perfectly fine, and it looks really good in there. They they sculpted it so it doesn't look horrendous in there. And you have a nice thigh swivel here, double jointed knee that gets you to kick in your own butt just about. And a it looks like a a swivel at the top of the leg. This is the tightest part on this figure. I should also mention that all of the joints on here are really really nice and buttery smooth, except this one right now. That's super tight. I don't like that but there seems to be a swivel here at the top of the leg, as well as a hinge joint on a disc on the inside and another swivel at the base of the foot. Of course, that toe hinge that I mentioned earlier gets you almost vertical, but after that toe hinge, that seems to be everything that I can think of. This figure is great. It's a little on the expensive side. I think this, the cheapest I've seen it is 65 at Big Bad Toy Store. That is absolutely where I'd recommend getting this figure. It's currently, 70 something on Amazon. So I would recommend going to Big, Big Bad Toy Store and waiting a little bit longer. But this figure is amazing. Even without a lot of accessories, it poses like a dream. I, I love Chainsaw Man and it makes me so happy that we have an amazing figure like this. Um, I'm so glad that I said Figure Arts did it and, and Figma is just a secondary option because that Figma doesn't look like it can really articulate that well. So like 
it looks so good. It looks so, so good. I'm so happy we have this figure. If you are interested in just Chainsaw Man and not all the Denji stuff, which will come later in its own figure from SH Figure Arts, uh, I would absolutely recommend this guy. He is the perfect Chainsaw Man figure, in my opinion, at least from what we have so far. And we don't have a lot of them, but this guy kicks ass. So I would 100% recommend this figure. If you have the money to spend on this guy, absolutely go for it. He is perfect. But that is everything for today, and I will be posting more reviews when I get other figures in. So that is everything for today, and I will see you guys later.